work is said to be done when the applied force is able to produce a displacement and it is defined as the dot product of force and displacement. If you want to write the dimensional formula for this work done, we have to write the dimensional formula for the force as well as displacement. We can further write force as mass into acceleration and displacement. We can further write mass acceleration as rate of change of velocity. We can further write velocity as rate of change of displacement. There is one more time in the denominator and yes. So, if you identify what are the kind of the physical quantities that are existing in the work, there is mass, there is square of the displacement and there is a square of the displacement in time but in the denominator that is inversely proportional. Taking this mass, length and time as fundamental quantities, we can express work done in terms of the fundamental quantities as mass power 1 displacement power 2, time power minus 2. This way of representing a physical quantity in terms of the fundamental quantities is called dimensional formula. So, dimensional formula is a representation of the physical quantity in terms of fundamental quantities. This dimensional formula is having some powers. For example, in this case, mass has a power of 1, length has a power of 2, displacement has a power of minus 2. These powers are also called something like dimensions. So, dimensional formula is a representation of physical quantity in terms of fundamental quantities. Dimension is the power to which the fundamental quantity is raised to obtain a physical quantity. To measure this physical quantity, we can have standard international system unit which is also called SI unit as work done equal to force into displacement and we can further say force is expressed in terms of a unit called Newton and displacement is expressed in terms of a unit called meter. Therefore, the unit for the work done is equal to Newton meter R. In the name of a scientist, it is being called like a joule. It is called like a joule. So, the unit for the work done in the SI system equal to joule. Suppose you want to measure it in the CGS system. There, a force is measured with a unit called dyne. Distance is measured with a unit called centimeter. So, in the CJ system, its unit is 9 centimeter. In the name of another scientist, it is called as Yerg. So, work done in the SI system is having a unit Joule, and in the CJ system, it is having a unit Yerg. I also would like to point out one point that being work done is a dot product of two vectors, it is a scalar quantity. It means it is having only magnitude but not having any specific direction and it does not satisfy the vector rules of addition. Any physical quantity can be expressed in different kinds of units like standard international system, CGS system and FBS system. As you are representing the same value in different systems, the value appears like different but at the core level that is same. That means there shall be some relation between these physical quantities in different systems. For example, we can say 1 meter equal to 100 centimeter. Meter is one unit, CGS unit. C centimeter is another unit called, sorry, meter is the SI unit, whereas a centimeter is the CGS unit. And we can see there is some multiplication factors like 1 for the meter and 100 for the centimeter. We know as the meter is a larger unit than the centimeter, the multiplication product shall be a smaller value. If the unit is big, its multiplication factor shall be small. Therefore, I can say this in like this n1 e1 equal to n2 u2, where if the unit is big, number will be small. n1 and n2 are the numbers, u1 and u2 are the 
different units taking this into consideration i want to calculate 1 joule equal to n to erg i want to calculate what is the value of that n to is 1 joule equal to how many erg we can write the above formula 1 joule joule can be expressed as a unit which can be represented like ml square t power minus 2 in terms of the SI system and 2 this is also the work done where I have proved the dimensional formula just now as ml square t power minus 2 but this shall be in the CGS system so if you simplify this further 1 mass is measured in terms of kilogram length is measured in terms of meter square time is measured in terms of second power minus 2 in SI system equal to what n2 mass is measured in gram length is measured in centimeter square time is measured in second power minus 2 in the CGS system so it is very clear from this uh, discussion that uh, second is same whether it is a CGS system or else a SI system therefore that can be cancelled in both of them so if we can rewrite the equation like 1 kilogram and meter square equal to n2 I can write 1 gram as 10 power minus 3 kilogram and I can write 1 centimeter as 10 power minus 2 meter whole square then we can cancel further this values of kilogram as well as the meters itself so what is remaining 1 on the LHS side equal to n2 into 10 power minus 3 10 power minus 2 whole square is 10 power minus 4 that is 10 power minus 7 into n2 that n2 is always there that implies n2 equal to 10 power plus 7 hence we have proved that 1 joule equal to 10 power 7 times of erg like this we can find the relation between the different units of the work and we can identify how can we measure the work and how can we represent the work in terms of a dimensional formula